Let's jump over to our man, Teddy Kegstat. We talk to Teddy every Wednesday, folks. You can check out, check out Teddy's newsletter, the Tiger Forex Report, on the front page of TFNN. Sign up for a month, folks. You get access to the newsletter for a month. You gain access to an outstanding webinar Teddy did recently. That's a subscriber webinar. You gain that. Uh, you get the newsletter for a month. You don't like it for any reason, folks. You cancel. You get a money-back guarantee. And, boy, we got so much going on in this market. Teddy Kegstat, good morning. Good morning. Can you hear me okay, Tom? I got you, man. I got you perfect. Okay, great, great. Yeah, we got a lot to talk about today. You want to talk about crude first? Let's do it, man. You talk about some volatility. What's going on in crude right now? Yeah, well, the holiday markets are over, and of course, everyone's looking at China and a whole bunch of things trying to figure out where are we going to go with this, right? Well, here's what we got to pay attention to. We have a lot of things going on that are going to impact crude. One, we do have a Fed meeting coming up in two weeks from today. Also, we have a railroad strike in this country that we are that is looming over us. Also, that also in two weeks, if it's not on Fed Day, we may also have a railroad strike to deal with. Don't think that Chairman Powell is not looking at this as well. We have Iran also is a problem with their missile strikes that they had last week. That's kicking up the Middle East. You have Turkey. Uh, Syria and Iraq that had a Kurdish conflict over the past couple of days that that could start to become a problem also. So we have a lot of turmoil that's brewing in the Middle East. Hopefully it gets kiboshed. That could be very bullish for oil. Then we have the winter coming ahead of us. So I think that all these things are the perfect storm. People who get the Tiger Report know that we just bounced off of our monthly support target for the crude oil market. And you can see how we dipped below it and fl came flying back like a balloon underwater with this move. And I think that, yeah, the bulls are back. And I would think that we're going to trend higher into the Fed meeting with crude. Yeah, it's pretty interesting that we were sitting at $73 or whatever. I was having a conversation with myself, man, as crude was cascading on Monday morning. I said, are we going to get 60 or $65 crude or something like that? Um, not yet. At least back to $81 makes a little bit more sense, in my opinion. Um, what was your, what was your take? Can we jump around to just kind of some of the movement this morning that we're getting? Um, so much economic data. We got the GDP. We got mm -hmm. the jobs. You got non-farm payrolls on Friday. We have Chairman Powell today. Uh, some action in currencies. And we have EC. CB inflation, euro area inflation at 10%. Um, what are you thinking of the, the current action like today and on all this economic numbers with the chairman coming up speaking today as well? Well, I think that he's going to hold his stance. And guess what? Rates are going to keep going higher in the next year. They're going to keep pushing this. Remember, over a year ago, I said, you know, when we were going into 2022, that this is the age of the central bank wars again. And that's what we have going on now. Now the heat is really here. You know, the U.S. really pumped it up. You know, Europe really was hesitant to follow our lead. You know, they were even behind, further behind the curve than we are. But that's because they were doing all the quantitative easing while we were still when we started our hawkishness. You know, so they're playing catch up, and I think that that is slowing the differential between the euro and the U.S. dollar as far as the trend. But overall, we're still ahead of that, and you have to look at where we're at on yields. Okay, the bond market is ten dollars off its lows from. A month ago okay we have a fed meeting in two weeks even if the market has a half a point factored in it hasn't it hasn't doesn't have the next quarter factored in that's for sure so you have to look at it like an options trader right now what's going to happen in the next two weeks what are the odds that yields are going to stay low where they're at right now or if they're going to accelerate and be and go higher odds are much in the favor of going higher over the next two weeks, which means we start to head back towards those lows. That's the full trend of the interest rate market. That should be a lift of the U.S. dollar as well. Now, the euro might be that's one of the key components of the dollar index. So the dollar index is not going to go screaming higher if the euro is only slowly falling against the dollar or maybe even rising against the dollar. But look at the other currencies. The other currencies don't have the ability to you know, move against the dollar like the euro. So even if they're and their central banks are way behind ours as well. So I think the dollar strength you're going to see happening over the next two weeks for sure. Nice. It is interesting, man, when you jump around some of the pullbacks. I got the dollar up there at 106. Euro's gotten quite a spike. I had the chart up there, the euro area inflation at 10 percent. It still looks like it's skyrocketing higher. So not sure how that gives them too much pause, even if it's, it's a slight miss or deceleration from the numbers that we've had previously. Um, and how about the yen? Because the yen's got some action going on today as well. Um, mm -hmm. one th one thirty nine What's your take on how the yen comes into that? Yeah, you know what? The U.S. dollar yen has been a pain of a trade the last like week. You know, it's going sideways. Um, but you got to realize it's it gone so it gotten so weak against the dollar. 
you know, so it was an overdone rally, but overall I'm still bullish on the US dollar yen trade. And I think you really have to watch crude. Like I, I told you a couple months ago that crude was off the table with the US dollar yen. Now I think it's coming back on the table because if we really do see a significant rally in crude, I mean, we're at $80. It's pretty comfortable for most people, but it's not that comfortable. And if we get back towards 90, 95 going into Christmas time, well, guess what? First quarter of next year, we're probably looking at, you know, oil, crude oil of over 100 again. And if that's the case, you know, with other commodities, you know, especially energy commodities going up, and if there's a railroad strike, that is really going to pump it up in this country. Even if global pricing tries to stay mitigated and, and sideways in the U.S., if we have a railroad strike, guess what? How does the oil move around this country to refineries? You know, it goes Warren yeah. Buffett making all the money shipping it. Cool. So. Hopefully that one gets avoided no matter what, man. Can you stay with us for the break, Teddy, for one more quick sure. segment? Well, That's absolutely. perfect. We'll be right back. I want to talk a little bit more about crude. We'll talk to the market. Stay tuned, folks. We'll come back with Teddy. We'll be right back. Welcome back, folks. we got the S&Ps basically flat, chopping around. Maybe we're waiting for Chairman Powell. We're talking to our man, Teddy Kegstat. And, folks, come on over to the front page of TFNN. Check out the Tiger Forex report. I got the webinar pulled up here that Teddy did. Forex strategies and fundamentals. What is behind the Tiger Forex report newsletter? He just did it last month, about a month ago, folks. Still very, very recent. And, Teddy, for those that weren't able to check it out, could you give them a quick description um, of, number one, the newsletter, which you put out every week on Monday and updates when warranted, and then just a brief uh, description and what you talked about in this hour-long webinar that they'd get as well if they signed up. The Tiger Forex Report, we always go over all the major uh, Forex currency pairs. We also have uh, information on the 30-year Treasury bond and also on the dollar index and also on crude oil and how they relate to the different currencies. And as we break down the currencies each week, we show um, the dynamics of which other markets influence them and what they should watch out during the week, you know? So, and uh, this definitely the last webinar we did is for this quarter is shown to be a quite useful tool, that's for sure, as far as uh, guiding you on the trends in the long term, you know? And uh, that's really- It was a great webinar, man. I, I was in there, man. So I just, you know, I encourage people, folks, check it out. You got a 30 day money back guarantee in currencies, bonds, crude. They're driving so much of the action right now. Uh, and we'll leave it on, Teddy. So staying super short term, mm -hmm. as a Forex trader, what are you looking for on a day where you get Chairman Powell? And we got about 30 seconds here, but is this something that you wait for him to talk and then you make a decision? Are you looking for any type of direction no. moves um, from Not the chairman all. today? Not with the way the trend is. Now, if I was questioning whether he was going to change his stance, then I might be listening to it. And if I hear that he does change his stance afterwards, I mean, I'll know by the way the market reacts, sure. you know, and then I'll take it into account. But right now, the way I'm looking at it, the Fed is not going to change, especially because the other banks are jumping on the bandwagon. So any every raising now by the ECB would counteract anything we've done for our dollar and for yeah. our inflation. So what does he care about? Take, man. Care about I, their inflation I, or ours? I appreciate yeah. the time. I agree a lot with what we're saying, man, and we get to see it all play out, which is the best mm -hmm. part. We got Teddy, a webinar thanks for coming up in two weeks, my friend. What's that? We got a webinar coming up in two weeks. Don't forget. I to love it. it. We're going to get it up on the website. Folks, sign up right now. We're going to get it up on the website. Uh, Teddy, thanks for the time, man. We'll talk to you a week from today. Sounds great. Take care, Okay, Kevin. have a great one. Folks, thanks for tuning in. Stay tuned. Basil Chapman's up next. Live programming all day. Have a great Wednesday, everybody.